The increasing availability of airstrips, safety concerns and requirements for better fuel economy have resulted in the gradual decline of seaplanes and so-called flying boats. Private aviation, however, is not ready to give up on the concept, so quite a few old timers are produced till this day. Plus, brand new models are being developed with the use of modern composites and innovative powertrains. Today we will look into the topic of amphibious aircraft that feel equally comfortable faring through the skies, landing on water and taking off from short runways. Subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss our occasional ventures into the realm of aviation. Ring the notification bell and enjoy your flight! Nordic Omsider Though manufactured in Czech Republic, the Omsider has a truly Nordic spirit, as it has been developed in Norway specifically for the Nordic landscape. The seaplane features a composite body made of carbon and processed cork that allows to keep its empty weight down to just 727 pounds. Thanks to the T configuration of its tail and a small sliding rudder installed inside, the craft's pilot enjoys superb handling and control while on the water surface. The sponsons located on both sides of the fuselage provide lateral stability and are removable. The aircraft's propulsion is ensured by a single Rotex 912 ULS engine that is mounted in the pusher configuration. The mill produces 100 horsepower and helps the ultralight to accelerate to 105 knots. Per customer's request, the Amsider can be additionally equipped with various instruments and monitoring devices. Icon A5 The A5, first surfaced in 2008, is an idea to bring a sports car-priced aircraft to the white public. Despite a drastic price increase, questionable company policies and many controversies associated with accidents, the startup still managed to establish manufacturing and brought to the world a product craved by over a thousand prospective buyers. In a nutshell, this is a high-wing flying boat-type amphibious monoplane with a carbon fiber airframe, retractable undercarriage and folding wings. A single 100 horsepower Rotex 912 IS Sport is responsible for driving a three-bladed pusher propeller. The useful load of the Icon A5 is about 430 pounds, sufficient to fly two people and some gear at the max speed of 95 knots. On water, this amphibian requires 840 feet to take off and just 640 on land. The removable Garmin 786 Avionics is at your disposal, as well as an Icon parachute system. Cub EX3 and FX3 the Piper PA-18 Super Cub was a two-seat single-engine monoplane produced between 1949 and 1994. During this period, 9,000 units were built, and they have become pilots' favorites in private and military aviation. For this reason, saying goodbye to the model has never been an option, and the mantle of manufacturing was taken by the Akima Washington-based Cub Crafters. The company offers the new Cub and the reimagined carbon versions the EX3 and FX3. The former is a builder assist model which takes seven days to construct, while the latter is a complete airplane kit that takes up to 1000 hours to assemble. These light sport aircrafts are powered by CC363i 186 horsepower engine that propels constant speed Hertzel Trailblazer prop. The useful load of the Cubs is 977 pounds and they could be factory equipped with Clamour 2180 amphibious floats. Equator P2 Excursion Currently in the prototype stage of development, the P2 Excursion from the Norwegian startup Equator aircraft has been flying the skies since 2018. It is an all-composite model with a float wing design and a fuselage merged with a boat hull. The P2 Excursion seats a pilot and a passenger and can carry 484 pounds of useful load. It is also an all-electric model powered by a 132 horsepower electric motor fed by a 12 kilowatt hour battery located in the cabin and another smaller one 6 kilowatt hour in the nose. The setup is expected to offer 108 nautical miles of range, but for now the seaplane can stay in the air for 35 minutes. To increase the flight distance to 540 nautical miles, Equator are working on a new range extender, 
based on the 77HP Wankel rotary motor that will run on diesel or bio-based kerosene fuels. C-MAX M22 Designed by prominent aeronautical draftsman Miguel Rosario, the latest C-MAX M22 is one of the trendsetters of its class as well as one of the safest planes in the category. Constructed of all composite materials, the C-MAX has a side-by-side -side configuration cabin with a bubble canopy. All three trims of the model can be ordered with folding wings, which feature a one-minute assembly and cut your storage expenses. There is also an ultralight version of the wings, built specifically to match the European regulations. The aircraft's engine is mounted on top of the wing to avoid water ingestion, and as standard, it is the Rodex 912 ULS four-cylinder with the optional fuel injection 912IS available. The base version of the C-MAX comes with analog instrumentation, while the more expensive exclusive or exclusive dual trims get you standard Garmin G3X touch display, parking brake, external camera, and premium leather seats. Kodiak 100 The 2019 acquisition of the American Quest aircraft made the French Dyer the seventh largest producer of business aviation planes in the world. Most importantly, the company sees control over the Quest's most iconic product, the Kodiak 100, which recently got an upgraded version named the Series 2. The Kodiak is a legitimate people's hauler capable of seating 10. The single-engine turboprop is famous for its versatility, low cost of operation, and minimal requirements for takeoff and landing sites. Even fully loaded, it needs under 950 feet of takeoff run to start the climb at the rate of 1,371 feet per minute. The Series 2 also received a significantly faster Garmin G1000 avionics and can be optioned with the GWX-70 weather radar, single-point refueling, and its amphibious nature is ensured by the Aerosat carbon fiber floats. It is time to stop postponing liking this video. Smash the thumbs up button until it turns blue and start evaluating which of the presented models is your top pick to let us know in the comments below. Let's keep going! Siri Elite and Adventure Manufactured by the Florida-based Progressive Aerodyne, the Siri is a single-engine two-passenger aircraft with a boat-like monocoque construction. The seaplane is produced in three configurations, the FFA-certified Elite and Adventure plus a kit for amateur assembly. The Elite is the most high-end version of the model. It has a lightweight carbon fiber hull, streamlined engine cowling, and optional folding wings. Brought into motion by a Rotex 914 ULS engine with 115 horses, it requires just 350 feet of water surface for a successful takeoff or landing and has the maximum cruise speed of 91 knots. In addition, the Siri Elite comes equipped with the Garmin G3X avionics featuring 7-inch and 10-inch digital screens. The Adventure model is a more back-to-basics one. As a standard, it gets a less powerful 100HP Rotex 912IS, while most of the Elite's advanced features are available as options. Viking DHC-T2 Turbo Beaver The original DHC-2 Beaver was manufactured by the de Havilland Canada between 1947 and 1967, with a total of 1,657 units produced. In 1987, a fellow Canadian company, Viking Air, became an exclusive spare parts manufacturer and servicer for the aircraft, and later started remanufacturing the existing Beavers with the Pratt & Whitney turboprop engines. Currently, the company offers several upgrades for the model. There is a Viking Air High Cross kit that increases its max takeoff weight to 6,000 pounds, two cabin extensions for 8 and 10 passengers, and the most recent engine propeller update that allows the PT6A34 engine with 680 horses and Herzl 3 blade propeller to be installed on the model. The Beaver also gets a custom interior, Garmin avionics and audio, plus a set of Whipline 6100 Amphib floats. Super Patrol 
Over its 20 years in the industry, the Florida-based Super Patrol has gained a truly international recognition as 344 of their 371 aircraft were sold outside of the US. The aircraft has a biplane construction with long narrow wings and a short cord line, ensuring faster and more efficient airfoils. Owing to its unusual wing design and a low approach speed, the Super Patrol is also known as a very flip-resistant model, so you do not have to worry in case you have to land on water with the gear extended. The Super Patrol also has the sponsons attached firmly on the lower wing, enabling comfortable turns on the water surface. As standard, the aircraft is powered by Rotex 912IS sport engine, good for a max cruise speed of around 100 knots. However, the company also offers a 912i8 fuel injection and a 914UL turbo options, producing 110 and 115 horsepower respectively. Lisa Ecoya Under development since 2006, the Ecoya aircraft is a combination of unique design, all-round functionality and efficient performance. The model features a one-of-a-kind system of aeronautical hydrofoils that give it amphibious capabilities and provide added stability during water takeoff. The Ecoya also gets the patented multi-axis technology with skis as a part of the landing gear package, allowing it to travel on snow and ice fields in addition to land. Made of two composite half-shells with carbon fiber wings, the seaplane has max takeoff weight of 1400 pounds meaning it can carry two people and 550 additional pounds of float. It is powered by Rotex 912 engine that channels 100 horsepower to the single propeller that is located behind the cockpit. Due to the exceptional 1 to 20 glide ratio, the aircraft can reach speeds of 135 knots, covering more than 1,000 nautical miles or 2,000 kilometers in a single flight. We plan to release a video about larger flying boats, so make sure to subscribe to Automotive Territory not to miss it. Make sure to like this episode and mention your favorite model from the lineup in the comments below. Proceed to watching other aviation videos by clicking on the links on the screen, and as always, may the torque be with you!